Tuesday morning. Just got out of bed pretty much. It is 0900. POED is supposedly rolling down the line. I'm here at Wells Depot. Um, yeah, driving through Wells traffic, not fun, but I'm here now. We're gonna shoot it and then head back. On our first morning in Wells, Maine, I was awakened by Pan Am Railways, POED, getting the light to depart surf. We wouldn't make it to surf on this trip, but it and its eastern counterpart, Ocean Park, are important control points on the railroad. Located between Saco and Old Orchard Beach, the siding is an ideal place to stage freights heading to or from Rigby Yard. A Portland Yard crew would bring POED down to surf overnight, with the crew going on duty around 8.30 in the morning. The same trio of GEs from the previous night's EDPO would lead the train, followed by three EMDs and a GE heading towards East Deerfield. OED. Second Pan Am train we've caught on the trip, which is pretty good given that the daily freights M426 and M427 are nearly always, my skinner's really low, CSX power. So POED and EDPO are the only trains left with Pan Am power, and with some power that was. Quite a lash up. One minute 37 seconds later. No hunting on railway. We're here at uh, Dump Crossing. I call it Dump Crossing. It's called Willie Hill Road, and it is the road to the dump. It's a dead end. Uh, it's kind of a pain to get to, but it's at the end of the Wells siding. It's on the west end, and we're waiting for an M426 heading east 
they're holding in Dover for that POED we just saw. We're going to watch them come into the siding. Um, they got to let an Amtrak pass, and we're not going to watch them leave because then it's time to head to the beach. I was prepared to head back to the hotel when I heard District 2 dispatcher mention a me at Rollinsford. As there was no Amtrak trains due, I determined this was CSX M426 from the day before. I moved down to CPF 228 to catch them taking the siding for Amtrak. even a day into our adventures and we're already seeing the impact of the CSX acquisition of the railroad. M426 is formerly Pan Am AYPO. Because AYPO was essentially a continuation of M426, CSX extended the symbol to Portland as well as the power. M426 has also been regularly used to bring CSX power into Maine, as we see here with a pair of wide cab dash 8s. This wouldn't be the last time we would see these dash 8s on our trip. Here come the I'm Skips. Empty containers going to be loaded with Poland Springs water.
And we got quite the line of cars going to and from the dump because I guess Tuesday is a popular day to go to the dump because that's pretty much all that's down this road. So yeah, time to head to the beach. Wells Lobster Pound, great seafood dinner. Enjoying the ocean for a bit. Then we're gonna head over inland for the Amtrak seven o'clock meet. Seven o'clock meet has become a staple of our trips to Maine. We gotta see at least one. Um, and tonight's might be interesting because M426, as far as I'm aware, is still on the Wells siding. We would head over to the Wells Depot once again for the Amtrak meet. Unfortunately, cloudy skies and the missing M426 made it slightly disappointing. However, four trains in a day is not bad for an NCT trip to Maine. Almost a rolling meet. We should see the other one coming around the corner momentarily. Cabbage on the rear. The cleanest meat you'll see on the entire Amtrak system. They were on 10 trains a day on this line, and it's single track, but they get these meats down to a science most nights. Apparently last night they reversed one of the Amtraks down the siding or down the main, but anyways, that's all for tonight. The next day we would head to the Seashore Trolley Museum, which I've already released a video on. However, during the afternoon, we would catch a trio of trains at the Wells Depot along with friend and fellow YouTuber, New Englander. It's hard to explain how the three-way meet happened, so I'll let myself do it on site. All right, we're back in Wells. Looks like M426 is stopped on the siding. They're gonna meet two Amtraks here and pull out, and hopefully I can uh, deposit the family and get the truck and head over to see them pull out. I also heard M427 on the radio, um, but I don't really know um, what they're doing, where they are. They are clear of the interlocking and they are fully within um, the first part of the siding so Amtrak can still meet here, which means we can get them going by the depot, which will be nice. They're right down there. Uh, we gotta get over to the hotel, uh, drop the family, and I'll be over here, hopefully, to shoot all three trains. I know what you're thinking. I've shot like four trains here, but M426 is on the siding, and this is the closest place to my hotel, so I gotta do it. Three-way meet here at Wells. Eastbound down Easter, coming in on the siding.
going to a stop. They're delayed. They were supposed to meet the westbound at Scarborough, but now they have to wait at Wells. That was a pretty clean meet. CSX M426, former Pan Am AYPO, departing Wells after holding for Amtrak's. And it is raining. With Amtrak out of the way, M426 rolls down the siding and out onto the main with five locomotives, including a pair of Pan Am 8s that had previously been sent to Selkirk. I apologize for the shaky ground. It's because they're pounding over a switch. Totally kills my tripod. Should be a little better now that I'm holding it. But then I don't have any hands free to swat away the mosquitoes that are relentlessly attacking me. Southern. Conrail gone. Seaboard coastline gone. There goes CSX M426.
HD 1995 camcorder quality footage of a seagull viciously attacking a bag. Later that evening, we made a stop at Scarborough Marsh just south of Rigby Yard. A westbound down easter greeted us in perfect evening light. All right, now let's get out of here before I get eaten alive. Before heading to dinner, we stopped at the east end of Rigby to find PO5, adding those same CSX dash shades from earlier onto the outbound POWA for Waterville Yard. Two jobs this morning. Catch the early morning Amtrak and get some donuts from Congdon's Donuts, which is a very popular local donut shop and bakery that we always pass and we always want to stop, but it's always crowded and no one wants to wait. So I'm being the guinea pig and I'm going to go sit there for who knows how long and finally get some of those donuts we've seen for years. And yes, I was using my phone to take both video and pictures because my brain at 8 o'clock can't comprehend that the camera battery was in the charger in the camera bag, which is all the way in the truck. And by the time I realized, there was no time. Onward to Congdon's Donuts. I did indeed get my donuts, and after the beach, we checked out Amtrak 46 at the Portland Transportation Center. I've included the 46 and some more Rigby Yard action in a separate video. However, after we return to Wells, I would head down to the Amtrak station to catch a very late M427. M427! 
427. Portland, Maine, Rigby Yard to Selkirk Yard. Formerly Pan Am, POAY. And this train is running extremely late. This normally runs in the late morning and is currently almost 10 p.m. No lime skips. They seem to be an every other day thing. Except there was no M427. We're back at Wells for one last time. We're here to shoot DO-1, um, which is one of the two Dover-based local crews. They ran to Rigby Yard in Portland, and now they're heading back westbound towards Dover. It's pretty rare to catch them on the main line like this. Uh, so I'm taking advantage and catching them one more time before heading back west towards New York. D01 was the perfect way to end our adventure on the Pan Am, with a pair of wide cab jeeps leading a train of mostly propane for Portsmouth. platform is shaking. What a way to end our trip to Pan Am Railways, now CSX, District 2. A pair of corporate blue GP40 wide cabs. If you enjoyed this video, as always, thanks for watching. Please check out the other videos in my New England Railroading series. Have a great fall, hope you enjoyed your summer, and I'll see you out on the rails.